Hello, Nicola Russell here. Um, Remembrance into Light is my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. Just came out of a wonderful, wonderful healing um, with one of my wonderful tribe members. Uh, amazing soul, absolutely amazing soul. So, so, so beautiful. And, and he ignited his light language, which was very, very wonderful to see. And I really wanted to sort of come on and talk about that about stepping into your power and bringing forward your sovereignty of light and one thing what he was saying was that oh i feel a bit scared about bringing it forward and what that is is about blocks and fears about bringing those gifts and your sovereignty forward because in past times in past lives many of us would have been suppressed for that experience of stepping forward into our light. Lifetimes after lifetimes, we would have experienced a bit of suppression for others, whether it's that we couldn't speak or whether it was um, society wasn't actually allowing it to come through. So many of us would have hidden our gifts. And those um, energy, that energy, that vibration of those gifts coming forward is being experienced in this reality now stopping many of us from stepping into our sovereignty and it's important that not to give your power away um certainly be guided i listen to people i i connect with people all the time but it's coming from a place of empowerment rather than giving my energy away to somebody because they I think that they can do better or I feel that I can't do it so just know that if a synchronicity comes in it's because that you need to be shown something okay but everything comes from you you are the creator of your reality now uh, yesterday they showed me um which was a really good analogy of um a projector so if you could imagine a projector a projector sort of sits there it sits on the side the old-fashioned projectors with the reel going round you've got your screen on the wall here okay get the whiteboard out really <laughs> but if you've got the projector sitting on a little on a little table here you've got your screen here you turn the projector on as the lights start to shine in the projector the projector brings forward an image on this, on the screen. The image is not the reality of what is being shown. It is a projection of how that projector is feeding inside of itself. So if you look at it um, as a, if we see ourselves as a projector, everything in here like the projector is outwardly projecting our reality the whole of our reality from inside of ourselves, it gets projected outwardly we are not the outward projection it is the projection inside of us that projects out you would have he heard this many 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 times i'm sure but it was deeper understanding, bringing in different analogies to really get your mind to click into place that whatever you're holding inside of yourself will be projected outside. When you see something outside of yourself that you don't like, you come inside of yourself. You look at the film on the reel of the projector, what is it that I don't like about what I'm seeing up on here? You change the, 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 the recording, the tape, you change that. You do the same. You've got to go in to change the outward projection. Okay? That super siana. That's ya siana. So it's quite simple. It really is quite simple. <laughs> Not being um, condescending, but it is. It is so simple. But we overcomplicate it because why? We think about it. Our minds are our little breaks, our little barriers. Like, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay. 
if you're not sure and your mind is playing a game with you, creating emotions, it's going to add to the reel of the film of what you're outwardly projecting. So it's about stepping into your heart. In your heart, to come out of the mind of all that into your heart. That's your bagiata dice, yeah. It's your body get out of me. That's interesting. They're saying it's like we should change the biology of the understanding of the physical body. We see a brain as being the place of that is in charge of the whole physical body. It is an organ in physicality. Well, they're all the neurons. I, mean, I don't know too much about all that, so I'm not going to go into all that information because I don't know. But what they're showing me is that you've got the brain. You've got a heart that pumps all the, the, um, the blood around the body. You have the lungs, okay? You have the intestines. You have the, um, the um, reproduction organs. <clears throat> you have all of the other inward physical things that actually does something within the body to help it move and to 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 actually be alive okay the the workings mechanics like the projection you have the motor and you the projection lens which are like the eyes and in physicality if you see the similarity of of a of a, a machine and a physical body it's the same thing you have a motor that that pumps all the electricity through and the electricity wires that go throughout the whole thing which is like the the veins and um you know the wheels and the cogs and everything the working parts that's yes but the intelligence of a re, of a of a projector machine is the energy that comes on the energy that comes in the electricity that flows through the projector helps the cogs move the tape move the lens to be shone upon it's all energy it comes from a source the energy comes from a source of consciousness outside of itself because it's not it's not the energy outside of itself it is something quite separate a physical body like a projector sitting on a on a shelf in a shop is a vessel in which the energy can flow through it to enable a, uh, um, something to be done in this physical reality so the projector's job here is to project a movie on a, on a screen the physical body is here to project a human experience it's the same thing as above so below okay <laughs> side by side projector Nicola <laughs> it's the same thing it's it does its job but it is not who I am okay that's your other there shot <clears throat> it is the spark the spark of energy just like the energy from a projector that runs through you that brings to life all that you are and it doesn't sit in your brain. That is just one component, okay? Your brain just, um, that's your it's like a, um, it's like a circuit board in the projector. It's a, a, a place of, um, like a station where everything comes together and processes, but but we we think that this is who we are is the brain but it's not it's the it's like the circuit board of the projector it just sends everything here 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 and here and here and here the neurons sort of move through just like it goes through to the rest of the projector to project the outward um image so don't Overemphasize this. <coughs> That's your by Yana Maki or Dona Maria Shoma. And I want to bring the speakers in. They're bringing speakers now. Speakers for the projector. 
da si io parlo che non mi piace tu rassi si chiama non credo che è già di is the expression of the um, the voice si io parlo che non mi piace tu la scena che è again it holds a vibration alla che è la marcia te che dici mo cura che non è già non mi piace tu alla che è tu rassi tanta è già di chi non mi piace alla che è tu da bar mo cura che non è già di chi è già It is not to identify with the physicality, it is the experience of the energetic from an inward perspective, not that from outside of yourself. You are the creator of your reality. You go in to go out. You go in to project out from which is being shown from within. Anything outside of yourself is within. Ashana Wesha or Laka Wesha Pakianta Eshona Miakia. It is shining the light of what needs to be let go of or anything that needs to be adjusted within yourself that will then change that outward projection. As you're the Bariyas, you'll be your Tora, Tasiana Kita, Shua Miakia Tana Ayashama. Anything that is layering that fear, anger, self-doubt, anything is layering on top of who you are, your essence, your spark. And that is what is being projected. That is what is your feeling in this physicality of self. When you outwardly produce that projection of how that is affecting you and you take ownership, your focus of that outward source of where you doubt yourself, where you think somebody else is better than you, takes away the power source, your electricity, for that flow to come into yourself for deep realizations. When you look for outward confirmations, it can adjust and upbalance with clarity of mind, but it also can be, if the focus is on others, is to stop you moving forward into your sovereignty of owning who you are, It's like having, uh, uh, using all of the electricity that comes through and then billing your neighbor. It's, it doesn't make sense. You own your electricity bill. You are your electricity bill. You are your energy. You don't just then pass it over and just say, uh, I've been, uh, this all this energy, but can you pay for it for me? And they're like, well, No, not really, because I'm paying for my own electricity. Why would I pay for yours? That's your Namakia, Danisham. It doesn't make sense. That's your choice, you Makuasha. So own your own energy. You have the power to do so much. So, 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 so much. And sometimes you give your electricity bills away because you feel that you can't pay it. But you can. You can, you are the creator. You're abundant with light within your hearts, within your physicality, within that spark and essence of who you are. You don't need to give your power away. You can be guided, but everything that you do is a reflection of you inside of yourself. That is your makua and that is your nakiata. And when I see this in people of the disempowerment of themselves, then there is something within me that makes, triggers me to think that they can't do that. So from that perspective, I need to look at why I'm being triggered. Why is it that I'm being triggered that people aren't taking the sense of empowerment? Why is that? And that's not for me to understand and not to get an answer from an outward source. So I go in, I take a deep breath, I allow myself just to be with me and ask myself, why is it am I being triggered that I see so many people not stepping into their power? That is your nava, we show Giata and Thais your Giata. Dalla Giato to Toka was your Makiena. That's your Sukiato Grand Taishana Makie. Dalla Grisho no Kura Taishana Giat. It is showing many, many 
phases of your development, Nicola. It is showing the misalignment of patience. I'll take that one. Ah, thank you. It is also showing there is a reflection of self-doubt. Hmm. Nice. Thank you for showing me. That's your mark, yeah. Patience, self-doubt. That's your kyo no bokara na desha desha. Dara kyo no kora turi shuma kokran ta yesha mekiat. Ala yeshuma kokam pokua sha. Dara ki tan ta yesha kyo no kora taro sha na yet. So it is now time to look at those two aspects of that what needs to be upgraded within yourself, Nicola. That of patience for others, because you have gone through that journey yourself and know and understand that perspective, and to work on your self-worth, judgment of self, to realign with that flow of energy. And then it will be observed. Thank you. Bye, Shumakiata. So, do what I say. Do what I do. Have a look. What is it that's creating that sense of outward projection of judgment of others? That process that I've just gone through there, use that as a template. Enable yourself to check in with yourself see what those little deep core wounds are within yourself and allow yourself to start to rise out of judgment it comes around in cycles of experience and deeper understandings and realizations question everything even question this video see what resonates and move through that but own it from a place of empowerment and not just because nicola russell said so that's yeah, that to be my wish. <laughs> so, enjoy your day. Um, I think Louise might need to go for a little walkies in a minute. <clears throat> and um, check out Stassi Jew's got Deep Core Wound um, course, which is free on there if you want to just have a little look at that. Um, and uh, check out everything else if you want some mentoring if you want me to guide you through any process but from a place of empowerment um healing i'm here okay guys um have a wonderful wonderful day um i'll hope to see you all soon check out all the live streams that we um that robert and i do and that i do on my own they're all there for you and check out all the other videos that if you if you're new to my youtube channel okay no you got this You've got it. If something creates an emotional response, check in with yourself. What is it that you're showing yourself? Okay, like I've just done there. So I need to go and do some self worth bits and pieces. <laughs> so it's all good. It's all good. Okay. Okay. And I just said take ownership of that too. Mm. Okay, cool. See you soon. Bye.